Overwhelmed Beyonce and Jay-Z preach LGBTQ acceptance in GLOD Awards speech Taking a significant stand for acceptance and support of LGBTQIA people of color, pop icons, and Jay-Z accepted media's Vanguard Award on Thursday night in Los Angeles. Each a cultural monolith in their own right, the husband and wife team dubbed the most powerful black people in the country by presenter Lena Waithe used the platform to rally Americans to protect their friends, family and children and love them in their truest form, said. Emotions ran high in the international ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel as Waithe and fellow presenters helped contextualize the value of Mr. and Mrs. Carter's endorsement of queer identities. Trans writer and director Janet Mock spoke of the significance of her casting in Jay-Z's music video for Family Feud, in which director Ava DuVernay envisioned her as an architect of a new America, far in the future, where a woman like her held a seat at a table of power. It was a vital intervention to a worldwide audience that LGBTQ people are worth being seen, heard, and affirmed, said Mock, wiping away tears. HIV activist Morris Singletary asked an audience including Gwyneth Paltrow and emerging singer Lizzo to imagine if the world was one big Jay-Z and Beyoncé concert? What a wonderful world! Beyoncé's former, longtime stylist Ty Hunter spoke of their meeting at Houston's Galleria Mall in 1999, when her mother and Destiny's Child style director Tina Knowles plucked him from retail and employed him on the girl group's world tour. Hunter said the couple was not in the room on Thursday for attention, they are here because they believe in acceptance. Hunter thanked Bea When finally taking the stage, Jay spoke first about his mother Gloria, herself a award recipient last May. On his latest album, Mama had four kids, but she's a lesbian. Had to pretend so, in her introduction, Wade perhaps said it best. She said, for a flustered Beyonce took the mic and admitted to being overwhelmed by the outpouring from Mock and her fellow presenters. We are here to promote, let's tell them they are loved, tell them they are beautiful, speak out and protect them. And parents, in perhaps the most revealing moment of the evening, Beyonce shared that her uncle Johnny died of a struggle with HIV. Johnny contributed, ending on a light note, Beyoncé boiled down sexual orientation and the freedom to love to simple human rights Ash referenced one of her most infamous lyrics from the black female empowerment anthem formation, wherein she pledges to wine and dine her partner after an intimate moment. Who you make love to and take that ass to Red Lobster. It's your human right. Sign up for For the latest news. Yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, pot, pot.